welcome to all today i will explain lexical analysis page of natural language processing it converts the high level input program into a sequence of tokens sequence of tokens the output is a sequence of tokens that is sent to the parser for syntax analysis for syntax analysis okay in a sequence uh, totally how many steps we discussed totally five steps it is the first step lexical analysis phase okay after performing lexical analysis what's the output you got uh, tokens the sequence of tokens is forwarded to the what is the next level syntax analysis phase it moves to the syntax analysis okay it is uh, what will be working in lexical analysis phase who ha- who will be ready to take the information from lexical analysis phase and here what is token we are generating the tokens uh, getting the sequence of tokens from lexical analysis phase here what is token a lexical token is a sequence of characters that can be treated as a unit in the grammar of the programming languages grammar of the programming language it is a sequence of characters that can be treated as a unit in the grammar of the programming languages okay example of tokens in a program for example if you take the program uh, example of tokens are if you take keywords what are the tokens for while if these all are keywords we okay, consider it as tokens and identifier variable name or function name etc we'll consider it as token and next operators what are the operators we are using in programming languages we can consider it as operators plus 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 minus 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 equal to assignment operators those are treated as a tokens and separated separators also consider it as a tokens comma semicolon double quotes those all are tokens then what is the example of non tokens in a program comments pre processed directives macros blanks tab new line these all are non tokens these all are non tokens okay only tokens are forwarded to next page in nlp non tokens are not forwarded and how to identify in a given program tokens here it is the user program simple program int main in here we are taking the two variables in the a comma b a equal to 10 initialized and we have to return zero value and with braces okay uh, now you count number of tokens value tokens int is a token main here these are the separators left parenthesis right parenthesis brace int a separators here separate it is the variable name variable names and comma separator b variable name semicolon separator and here a third line a is variable name equal to operator operator is a token 10 some constant semicolon separator return keyword separator no keyword token zero token semicolon separator brace token total number of tokens 18 these tokens number of valid tokens are 
forwarded to sequence of tokens are forwarded to next phase it is an output of lexical analysis phase here what is a non tokens comment box comment these two variables these are because it is in comment next line after mint um, int main function next line brace started okay next line okay these all are spaces okay uh, those are non valid tokens now i am going to give in the question to you all int main function it is the user program here we are taking the two variables a is 10 b equal to 20 and it has to print print f sum is percentage d a plus b semicolon it should return zero and with brace now you people tell me number of valid tokens how many number of valid tokens in a given program i am giving 2 minutes time to you all tell me how many number of valid tokens are there valid tokens are there in this program And the answer is how many tokens? Ma, total twenty-seven. Inch main, left parenthesis, right parenthesis, brace. Int next line. Int a equal to ten constant. Comma separator variable name b operator equal to twenty is constant. Semicolon is a separator. print of is a keyword left parenthesis double quote sum is because it is in double quote you can treat it as it as a single word percentage d comma a plus operator b variable name right parenthesis semicolon return keyword zero constant semicolon and parenthesis total how many are there total 27 tokens Okay, if you have any doubts, you may ask me. And the next topic is differences between lexeme and morpheme. Lexeme refers to a single word and all of its forms. For example, the word "go" in English has the forms "go," "goes," "went," and "going." All of these words are. From the same lexeme go, same lexeme go. Okay, definition. It refers to a single word and all of its forms. And next one, morpheme. Morpheme refers to the smallest unit of meaning a word can be broken down into. For example, the word cats. this can be broken down into cat plus s here cat carries the meaning of the furry four legged animal and s carries the meaning of plural s carries the meaning of plural okay here the definition of morpheme is it refers to the smallest unit of meaning a word can be broken down into okay smallest unit of meaning a word this is the difference between lexeme and morpheme and next one what is typology 
morphological topology divides the language into groups by characterizing the prevalent morphological phenomena in those languages it divides the languages into groups by characterizing the prevalent morphological phenomena in those languages that is topology and the topology that is based on quantitative relations between words their morphemes and their features isolating or analytic languages include relatively few words that would comprise more than one morpheme okay typical members are chinese thai analytic tendencies are also found in english okay uh, here we are grouping set of languages pronunciation if it is some relevant those are formed as group and synthetic languages can combine more morphemes in one word and are further divided into agglutinative and fusional languages fusional languages and agglutinative languages have morphemes associated with only single function at a time for example korean japanese finnish and tamil and next one fusional languages are defined by their feature for morpheme ratio higher than 1 those are arabic latin sanskrit german etc those are fusional languages okay Dif so many languages are there we are grouping that languages on that group of languages we are giving name for easily understandable by the expert system next topic is morphology it is the study of word formation how words are built up from small pieces it includes identification analysis and description of the structure of a given languages morphemes and other linguistic units such as root words affixes parts of speech intonations and stresses are implied context implied context and more time i will explain about morphology how words are built up from small pieces that is in morphology identification analysis and description of the structure of a given language is morphemes and other linguistic units such as root words affixes parts of speech intonations and stresses are implied context and here we are taking an example washing how it will be divided how it will be uh, words are formed washing wash plus ing and next an example browser if you take a browser browse plus er and if the word rats we are taking rat plus s okay from small small words the words are forming from the small pieces of the words uh, small pieces of words only uh, small pieces of uh, uh, sentences or uh, characters small small words we are forming the full meaningful word i am going to ask the question to you on give, giving 2 minutes time to you what is the output of lexical analyzer a set of uh, regular expression r e here r is regular expression output is syntax tree and here output of lexical analyzer is set of tokens or sequence of tokens and output of lexical analyzer is string character one more time i will ask the question what is the output of lexical analyzer a set of regular expression a syntax tree a set of tokens a 
string character string character what is internally will happen what's the output will be generated by lexical analyzer whatever the output it is given it will be understand by what is the next phase syntax analyzer okay respond me immediately ma waiting for your answers okay and the answer is c c is set of tokens lexical analyzer converts character sequences to set of tokens okay whatever we are getting an output sequence of tokens that is forwarded to next phase syntax analyzer okay if you have any doubts you may ask me thank you all